Hi everyone, today I want to talk about the charity kits that Hope and Chances produce every month. The reason for me doing a video this time is because we're approaching five years of doing the charity kits, which I'm so thrilled. We've raised a lot of money, which has helped Ronald McDonald House in Camberwell, which is a charity very close to our hearts in the Emerson household. So for those of you who haven't seen the charity kits, it's also an opportunity for you to just get an idea of what we do each month. Uh, mostly it's cards. Sometimes we do wall hangings, uh, little post-it note holders, things like that. So I try to put in a little bit of variety, but it's really just um, to tempt those that perhaps haven't bought them before, uh, because it all is in a good cause. And for those that have been loyal to me for all these years, a huge thank you. And perhaps for this month's kit, it might just offer a few little tips and uh, techniques with making the project. So the May kit is going to be featuring this beautiful die, which is the floral gatefold. And let me show you what the end project is actually like. So it's using two die cuts here, and you have got this uh, gatefold card and in the center there you've also got the blue ring rose and a little uh, circle and a sentiment of thanks so much which is appropriate because I'm here to thank you all. So a kit. They're every uh, first Sunday of the month available on the Hope and Chances website and also all the details are on the Hope and Chances blog. So I prepare it so it's always the first Sunday of every month. So you get, with your kit, instructions. Now I'll be honest, I, I type these and I do try to put in as many pictures to make it clear. Um, so I hopefully they, they work okay. So what you have is a project image. What's included in your kit, I also like to let you know what extra things you may have to supply yourself. Um, distress inks, um, perhaps a glue dot, adhesive, some twine and ribbon. And then we do the instructions coming down here. So that's the most important piece of your kit really is the instructions. And then when you open it, I try to make sure absolutely everything is side and touch wood. I haven't had, really had anybody come back and say, well, you've forgotten this, so I must be doing okay. So this card kit, you will have your envelope, you have your die cuts, uh, which is needed for your card. Uh, this one requires two um, five by seven mats as well. Now, if I'm including small die cuts, I'd like to try and put those in a little bag for you, just so that they don't get lost. This kit also includes stamens, so they're all pre-cut ready there and there's your sentiment but this is your lucky number so every kit has one of these if you are pulled out of the hat the following month then uh, you do receive a really nice goodie bag again I've had lots of people say thank you because I try to put in lots of goodies uh, as you know to make it exciting so that is how your kit will arrive it's postage free and the prices, they, they vary depending how much die cutting and how many elements are in there, but they're all around the sort of four or five pound mark. So I like to keep it at a manageable price so it's available to everyone. So as I mentioned, this is the project for the month of May. Very sort of spring-like card, hoping we get some nice spring weather. So here's just a few tips when you do receive your kit. There'll be two of the floral gatefolds. And you'll see here already that I've folded that line here. Now, if you've got a scoreboard, it will make it a lot, lot easier. So we'll just place that onto your scoreboard and run that down. If not, then obviously a ruler works very well. So it just helps when you're going to be doing that fold. So just fold that in like so. And then you get a nice clean fold. So perhaps use my tool 
just there to run that along gently. So we've got them both folded nice and crisp there. So the reason you have two pieces of the blue five by seven is because you're going to be making a sandwich. So you actually want to um, affix your gate folds onto either side. Now you'll notice here that it just very, very slightly protrudes. So if you just go in with your scissors and just do a little angled trim. So I like to do just an angled trim. And then that isn't going to show at all and then it's a lovely fit and you're going to do that on both sides so then you've obviously got this raw edge on the reverse and that is why you've got an additional piece of five by seven blue card because you're going to be placing that over the top so use your preferred adhesive you might want to use some um, double-sided tape or uh, liquid glue, whichever you prefer. As I said, just remember to trim that little area there and it keeps it very neat. You can, of course, place something inside. You may want to print a message or a verse and perhaps change this into a different card for an anniversary or a birthday. Again, entirely up to you. Hopefully this is just to inspire you to keep crafting. Also with your kit, you will have the elements to make the blooming rose in the center. Now, I know that this is blue, so I've done blue distress inks to match. You may prefer a contrast. This is cut from watercolor card, so you'll find that it will absorb your inks if you prefer to use inks or paints. Again, entirely up to you. And I also like to think people like to shape their flowers in their own particular way. I have provided the stamens to go into the middle, but you may prefer to use a gemstone, a pearl, whatever you prefer. Once you've prepared your flower, you're going to be mounting it onto this lovely little circle that I've provided. Now, you may want to then attach your sentiment. As you can see, it's just attached here. Also, a tip to remember, when you are attaching your circle with flower, obviously just stick it to one side of your gatefold because you need to open up your card. And then the finishing touch is to just tie around what you prefer, twine or ribbon, perhaps some jute. So, hoping that helps and that you're perhaps encouraged to um, have a look at the charity kits. There are previous charity kits available on the website. So again, uh, if you were to purchase, then all proceeds do go to Ronald McDonald House in Camberwell. Any questions, please do not hesitate to get in touch. But thank you so much for joining me today. Bye now.